hello friends welcome to our channel in this video we are going to continue the viceroy series and this is part third series so in this video we are going to discuss about lord ripon lord dufferin lord lansdowne and lord elgin too so we are going to discuss as a important event as a upsc prelim point of view is a very important so let us begin with lord ripon whose period is from 1880 to 1884 he was appointed by liberal party under gladstone He repealed the Vernacular Press Act in 1882. The first Factory Act was also passed during his period in 1881, which improved the labor conditions in India. In rural areas, local boards were set up in 1889. Madras Local Board Act was also passed. He famously known as a father of local self-government. So, why he is called father of local self-government? So, Lord Ripon is regarded as a father of local self-government. This we know. He was considered to have given the Indians the first taste of independence by establishing the local self-government in 1882. His local self-government scheme set up the municipal institutions which had risen in the country since the British Crown occupied India. He led a series of enactments in which large powers of a local self-government were extended to the ruler and urban bodies, and the elective peoples received. some wider rights other reforms include the education commission in 1882 under william hunter to or for education reforms in india albert bid controversy why this controversy happened because in this bill which this bill empower indian judges to inquire into european cases foundation of punjab university also took place during his period now let us discuss the important event which took place during lord dufferin's period third anglo burmese war happened during his period and annexation of burma in 1885 also occurred during his period formation of indian national congress in 1885 also happened during his period this is very important event took place during lord dufferin Dufferin called the indian national congress as a microscopic minority because it has a limited demands under constitutional means okay so this is very important now let us discuss the important event took place during lord lansdowne period whose period is from 1888 to 1894 factory act of 1891 and indian council act of 1892 was passed during his period civil service civil services were classified into empirical provincial and subordinate services In 1891 age of consent act under which marriage of a girl below 12 years was prohibited upsc might ask that marriage of a girl below 13 years or 10 years no it's wrong marriage of a girl below 12 years was prohibited under age of consent act of 1891 appointment of durand commission in 1893 why he appointed this commission to define the line between british india and afghanistan Now let us discuss the important event took place during Lord Elgin II, which is from 1894 to 1899. Santhal Uprising and Munda's Uprising of 1899 took place during his period. Lai Commission was also appointed after famine during his period. Assassination of two British officials by Chapekar brother took place in 1879. 1897 during his period so this is for today thank you